Uh, thank you for just like uh, accept my interview. Uh, so, can I may I have your name, please? My name is Yu. Okay. So, uh, what motivated you to organize this event? I know that uh, you're an organizer of this event. Yeah, I think DevOps and SREs are really important and trending in the industry. We just want to let more people know about this uh, fantastic opportunity. Um, helping people to build the career and also build the community regarding DevOps and SRE. And I think Alessian is one of the Australian largest uh, tech company. Uh, we have been practicing DevOps and SRE for quite a long time. Yeah, that's that's really great. So um, actually, for many people, uh, DevOps are and SRE are still like um, a relatively new concept for them. Um, how have you seen the landscape of DevOps and SRE evolve in Australia over the years? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think in Australia, a lot of companies are trans transforming themselves uh, from server to cloud. So they call it uh, digital transformation. And during this journey, DevOps and SREs are unnecessary skills and um, roles for company to be successful, to help their cloud services to be reliable and uh, scalable. So. In the next couple of years, if you look, look up on seek.com.au or some other statistic websites, you'll see a tremendous growth in this area. Okay, so from your professional perspective, uh, what are some of the most common challenges faced by individuals looking to transition into DevOps roles in Australia? Yeah, definitely. Uh, there are four pillars, I think, for every person who would like to transit their career into DevOps and SREs. So first, first of all is their domain knowledge. Um, the domain knowledge include cloud technology, CI, CD, monitoring and logging, orchestration, containerization, etc, etc. These are trainable, right? What I think most people are lacking of are the experiences. They haven't really touched based on some of the products that can help them accumulate the experience. And that those experiences are really important to knock into the tech industry. And the third pillar is definitely interview skills. DevOps and SRE require a lot of communication, uh, leadership, collaboration, and, and more and more soft skills. Um, so if people haven't really demonstrated those skills, I would recommend they need to uh, practice on those skills. And the fourth, the fourth pillar is just luck. And they just need to consistently try out and be com uh, commit to, to transit themselves into the tech industry. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I know that you're one of the co-founder of JR Academy, which provides IT training boot camps. Um, can you share a success story from JR Academy where a student made a significant transition into DevOps role? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, we have a lot of uh, success stories. In the past three, four years, we actually helped hundreds of students land their tech jobs in the Australia. Yeah. Uh, tech industry, uh, especially in DevOps area, and I still remember some of my students who used to be sushi shop owners, supermarket admins, and also we got nurses as well. Um, they managed to transit from you know non-IT professionals into the, the IT professionals. Oh, that's, that's, that's really great. I mean, a sushi store, <laughs> that's really can imagine. Um, okay, so uh, how do you believe the Australian IT industry's growth is impacting the demand for DevOps and SRE experts? You mean the demand is increasing or like decreasing? Uh, for the DevOps and SRE. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, if more and more companies are going to use cloud technology, launch their website on cloud, there will be a surging demand in DevOps and SREs. Oh, that would be great, yeah. Okay, so last question. Uh, could you give some advice to people who are looking to bridge the knowledge gap between academic learning and industry demands in a DevOps field? I would say they should be open to do some networking, going to some events like the events that we are hosting today um, to open up their, their horizon, understand what's going on in the industry because I, I see a clear gap between the academia and the industry uh, especially for DevOps and SREs, most of the challenges are actually coming from the industry so if you, they can build the connection with the industry, that would be the best and in JR Academy, we offer DevOps Bootcamp which our instructors are actually from the industry. We got the top instructors from top tech companies and hopefully we want to bridge that gap for people who want to get into this area. 
definitely. That's that's really fantastic. Thank you for taking the interview and hope you have a wonderful event tonight. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Cheers.